So the ship is headed over from China. In this time of year, I understand the weather can be a little tough in the Pacific Ocean. There could be storms. A number of people have asked, why don't these cranes just fall off the ship? Ah, that's a good question. There are uh, three components that keep the cranes on the ship. There's bracing that enhances the integrity of the structure of the crane, like from leg to leg. There's lashing where the crane is welded fast to the deck of the ship. And then the ship itself is special. It has the ability to ballast or deal with the high center of gravity that the cranes have. And is that why the booms of the crane are out? Does yes. that help as well? Yes. Okay. So once the cranes arrive in Commencement Bay and, and they're, they're coming into the port, mm -hmm. what's your role in, in this whole operation? The crane maintenance group here at the port is going to assist in checkout and commissioning of the crane. We'll be involved helping the project manager with all of the requirements, making certain that every contact requirement is met, checked off, and witnessed. Uh, for example, if the cranes are supposed to go uh, 150 feet per minute, then we're going to guarantee that the crane goes 150 feet per minute. Someone's going to sign it off, and we have a large ledger that's an inch thick that, that has all the test requirements. So uh, I imagine unloading the cranes is, is quite a big operation. What should people expect? I mean, how do you unload a huge container crane from a ship that size? And, and do it safely. Uh, ZPMC, the, the crane manufacturer, has a series of ships. They've done this many, many times. So the Zenwa 28 will come up alongside. The cranes are pre-positioned on rail. They will put rail on the dock when the tide is right they will literally tug and pull the crane from the ship to shore where it's going to be sitting about three foot above the deck and then the work will commence of uh, moving some things out of the way and, and, and lowering the crane back down to the, to the crane rail that is along the wharf. And how long does that take approximately per, per crane? The schedule allows two days per crane, but, but we expect it'll take a little less than that. And then they're reballasting the ship? Yeah, so there's a heavy lift area on the wharf where the crane must be, be sitting. So that will stay fixed. Then they're going to move the ship, pull the crane off two days later, move the ship again, use the same gear, pull each crane off. So there'll be four moves. Then once all four cranes are off in, on the terminal, what happens to the cranes then? The first thing we'll do is uh, connect power. We'll, we'll, each, each of the new cranes takes 13,800 volts and we'll connect the 13,000 volt cable and with that cable connected then all functions, the heaters, the elevator, all those, those things that, that are necessary are, are uh, available to us. So this isn't a 110, you plug it in your wall socket. Where do we get the power for that? There are eight locations along the length of the wharf where we have a pit. Inside the pit there are connections for the three phase 13,800 volt connections. That's a lot of power. Yes. So when will the cranes be fully operational, actually working a ship in normal operation? The schedule targets mid-June 2018. So Bruce, when the ship comes into the bay, does it go directly to the terminal to unload these cranes? Uh, no. The ship will be at anchor where there's some pre-positioning of equipment, some of the sea bracing will come off, and then they'll boom up. And explain what booming up means to the audience. For the voyage, the booms are down horizontal in the position that, that we were cargo. Once, before they come along to the wharf, they're going to boom up. They're going to take the, uh, the booms from level to the uh, fully upright position. And is there anything else you'd like to add that you think is a pretty exciting part or different, because uh, you've been in the crane business for a number of years, so sure. anything the, new? Probably the, the single biggest thing is there was a group of us that went to China to kick the tires during, during the fabrication process. And each one of us had the same experience. When we were there, we climbed to the top of the crane and all of us said, wow, these cranes are significantly larger than what we have now.